so i'm going to show you how to create thumbnails from your phone using InShot. So you get the video that you want and you need to get the image. Uh, you want to get an image that works really well. So what I did was that after uploading, I saw the image that YouTube suggested and I tried to find that on my clip. And then I did a screenshot of that. Once I did a screenshot of that, I now took that to the editor on my iPhone and cropped it into 16 by nine i think that's one nine one nine two zero by um one zero eight zero so i'm bringing up in shot right now in shot is free and i'm grabbing the picture that i want to modify i'm going to click on the uh adjust section so once you click on adjust you can brighten it up you can add more color you can do whatever but the key thing about youtube is you want to make the picture not dark so try brightening it up a little bit and once you brighten it up then uh what i'm just doing is i'm adding a little bit of saturation because when you make something so bright after a while it kind of looks a bit faded so i add a little bit of saturation and i also like to add a little bit of highlight to make some parts of my body kind of shine <laughs> okay so you can also choose a filter if you want to then i add words to it so when you add words to it you have different fonts that you can use you can pick any font whatsoever but make sure your font can be red so what i normally do is that i'll use a font and then i'll take my phone i'll put it far away from me and see if i can read the word you can also put labels labels are just like if you put a white border around the letters or um something of that sort so you can play around with it you can do so many things you can change colors and even though the font list is not a lot you can always import your own font list from uh, google or something okay so we're gonna add in a label and words i like doing thumbnails with words so that it knows teaches people what is going on so of course i can't spell <laughs> so i'm just writing patio right here I make it as big as i want or as little as i want and then i move it to the location that works for me next i need a contrasting um word that i want to do that i want to put here so i'm just adding another one now in this one i'm just using a border white border over black font writing fun and once i do that i enlarge it the way i want it to be and then stick it wherever uh, next you can also do some other things for example adding stickers like emojis you know like laughing faces and things of that sort you can add all this in this um uh, software so i want to cover up the name of my channel up there so i'm just kind of using this to sort of cover it up <laughs> if i want to so that's something you might want to do it's not necessary so that is how you create your thumbnail once you create it you make sure it saves once it saves now it is time for us to move from this area and go to youtube so when you get into your YT studio, you want to select videos. And once you select videos, you want to select the video that you want to edit. You click on that pen in the top corner, and then you click on the pen again in the left corner right over there. Then you can just click on custom thumbnail, select the thumbnail you want and dump it right there. And it's there. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. So try and make it the size I said. So that is it. After doing that, all you just do is save and you are good to go. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel where we give you quick and quick tips.